I'm going to show you how to another way to create 3D text in GIMP. So I have my new uh, background created. Again, the size of the canvas all depends on what you're trying to do. I'm just going to type in hello. Again, this is all personal preference on the size that you want. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to do alpha to selection to select my outline of this. I'm going to go to new layer and I'm going to call this layer black and I'm going to make it transparent. I can hide that original layer now and I want to come to my bucket fill and I'm going to choose to bucket fill this black. So I'm going to go to select none to get rid of that alpha selection. I'm going to come over to my filters. Uh, I'm going to do a blur. I'm going to do a motion blur. Again, this is personal preference. I've chosen 50 and 115 as my angle on this. Uh, and you're going to see as that applies here. Now, I can duplicate this layer multiple times. And what you're going to see is I get a thickening of that uh, blur that's done. So now if I go to my original text and I bring that on top and I make that viewed, we can see I have that three-dimensional text that I can do. Now, I can come over here and merge down my layers to join those black shadow layers together uh, so we can see that we have that join there i could eventually merge all of this if i wanted to but i'm going to come back to that original layer again and i'm going to go alpha to selection again i'm going to do a new oops, click on, let's do alpha selection i'm going to do a new layer again this one i'm going to call green and again i'm just doing this based off the colors that i'm choosing and again, I want to bring that below and I can hide my other layers. Again, my bucket bill, I'm going to choose a green color. And again, it could be anything that you'd want. I'm going to go back to select none. I'm going to come up to my blur, go to that motion blur again. And again, I could change my values, but I wouldn't based on what you're trying to do here. And I'm going to duplicate that because it'd be a little messy if you did. I'm going to merge down those to join my green layers. And now what you're going to notice is I can play around with this in the order of this. Uh, and you can see I get that little bit of a green hint, or if I wanted a green, and I get a little bit of a black hint in back. But it's, again, the way that you can play around with this to get uh, different effects. Uh, the other thing that you could do, too, and it's probably a little late for me, I could change my opacity here on my fill color so I could have more of that black coming through in the background to get that desired effect. But again, all it is is doing um, alpha to selection to create those different layers and then playing around with your settings to get that effect that you'd like.